insect head in this video i will discuss the structure of insect head the sclerites and sutures found in the head and then i will draw the interior side of head and posterior side of head so first of all location of head head is the interior most part of the body the insect body has divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen so head is the interior most or it is the first part of the body the head encloses brain it is sensory in function sensory in function means that it contain sense organs like a pair of compound eyes a pair of antenna uh, two or three simple eyes which are known as ocelli besides this head also bears mouth parts and mouth parts are used for the ingestion of food now uh, structure of head insect head is made up of uh, six hard plates which are known as sclerites so head is basically made up of six sclerites and i have shown a square and a rectangle like sclerites are either uh, triangular in shape or they may be uh, rectangular in shape uh, <clears throat> and sclerite is basically made up of chitin so we can say that uh, these sclerites are actually chitinous plates and chitin is a carbohydrate it is a polysaccharide so insect head is made up of six chitinous plates which are known as sclerites so we can say that insect head is a highly sclerotized structure and now uh, i have mentioned the sclerites names the first sclerite is known as vertex A vertex is like uh, the forehead of insect second sclerite is known as frons third is gina gina are present on the lateral side of head they are two in number and these are like the cheeks of head fourth one is clypeus the fifth sclerite is known as occiput and the sixth one is known as post occiput the first four sclerites that is vertex frons gina and clypeus they are visible in the interior view of the head on the interior side of head while the post occiput and occiput they are uh, visible on the posterior side of head now about the sutures the linear invagination between two sclerites is known as suture suture is sometimes also known as sulcus and the plural is sulci so suture or sulcus it is a fine groove that separates two sclerites or we can say that suture differentiates between two sclerites or the two sclerites are joined together by a line by a fine groove which is known as suture Uh, so there are uh, different sutures in the insect head according to the sclerites in which they are present so now i will mention the name of sutures uh, the first suture is known as epicranial suture the other name is ecdysial suture or it is also known as ecdysial cleavage this suture is an inverted y shaped structure i have shown on the board the y shaped which is inverted the straight line is known as coronal suture coronal suture and the two arms are known as frontal arms or frontal sutures so epicranial suture is an inverted y shaped suture and it is also known as ecdysial suture because of its function this suture splits during molting 
and the young insect come out from uh, uh, come out during ecdysis or molting and this suture it is reduced or even completely absent in adult insects mostly in adult insects it is absent the second suture is frontoclypeus suture which is also known as epistomal suture as the name indicates this suture is present between frons and clypeus this suture is a deep groove that separates the base of frons from the clypeus third is subgenal suture sub means below and genal means gena so this suture lies below the gena and it separates the gena from mandibles mandibles are the mouth parts of insect the frontoclypeus suture and subgenal suture are combinedly known as transverse suture the fourth one is frontogenal suture and it lies between frons and gena this suture separates frons from gena the fifth one is clypeo labral suture this suture separates the clypeus from labrum uh, labrum is the uh, upper lip of insect it is the mouth part the sixth one is occipital suture occipital suture is present on the posterior side of head posteriorly this suture separates vertex from occiput sometimes uh, this suture is reduced or even completely absent the last one is post occipital suture it is a horse shoe shaped suture that differentiates between occiput and post occiput sclerites the last two sutures occipital and post occipital sutures they are visible on the posterior side of head while the remaining sutures from epicranial up to clypeo labral sutures they are visible on the anterior side of head the post occipital suture is almost universally universally present in all adult insects it is the only real suture in insect head these clerites and sutures they are more or less visible in different types of insects now i will draw the dorsal view or interior side of an orthoptrite insect head now i will draw the dorsal view or interior uh, side of orthoptrite head it's very easy to draw the structure uh, first i will draw an oval shape but not a complete oval uh, you can see i have drawn an oval shape now on the lateral side i will show compound eyes i have drawn a compound eyes now um, i will show the vertex and epicranial suture a vertex is like the forehead of insect and it is the uppermost clerite and between these two compound eyes i will also draw inverted y shaped epicranial suture and it's better to show it through dotted lines because this suture it then disappears in adult insects uh, so i have shown vertex and uh, through uh, dotted lines i have shown inverted uh, y shaped epicranial suture and uh, uh, it has two parts the first part is coronal suture and the arms are known as frontal sutures so vertex is the uppermost sclerite on the dorsal side a coronal suture runs along the midline of vertex and then splits into two frontal sutures or frontal arms
the frontal arms encloses the median ocellus while the two lateral ocelli are present in the vertex the triangular sclerite that lies between the frontal arms is known as uh, frons and frons has the median ocellus so uh, frons the second sclerite which is uh, triangular in shape and you can see uh, below frons i have drawn a straight line and this full line is known as transverse suture and below frons there is another sclerite the third one sclerite which is known as clypeus it is a large rectangular sclerite and the frons and clypeus are uh, separated from each other by a suture which is known as frontoclypeus suture frontoclypeus suture is also known as epistomal suture and you can see on the lateral side i have shown gena gena are on the lateral side of head these are like the cheeks of insect head they are two in number so we can say that they are two in number so their plural is geni the gena is separated from the frons by a suture which is known as frontogenal suture so students here you can see that uh, frons is a large triangular sclerite and below frons there is a rectangular sclerite which is clypeus and on the lateral side of frons there are present two sclerites which are known as gena between the frons and gena there is a frontogenal suture it is very easy to remember the names as the suture is according to the name of sclerites so frontogenal suture is between frons and gena and the gena is separated from the mandible below gena lies the mandible which is the mouth part of insect so gena and mandibles are separated from each other by a suture which is known as subgenal suture the subgenal sutures and frontoclypeus suture are collectively known as transverse suture you can see i have drawn a line and this full line is known as transverse suture uh, students you can see i have um, highlighted the transverse suture with a purple uh, marker so frontoclypeus suture and subgenal sutures are known as collectively known as transverse suture below uh, clypeus there is present labrum labrum is the uh, mouth part of insect it is like the upper lip of insect and on the either side of labrum there are present mandibles mandibles are two in number they are one paired and mandibles are the jaws of insect attached with the labrum and mandibles you can see there are uh, appendages which are known as labial palpi labial palpi is three segmented and maxillary palpi is five segmented so labrum mandible maxillary palpi and labial palpi are the mouth parts of insect so this is the dorsal view of an orthopterite head and in this dorsal view you can see vertex frons gena and clypeus the first four sclerites they are visible on the anterior side of head now i will draw the ventral view or posterior side of head and the two sclerites which are left that is occiput and post occiput they are visible in the posterior side of head before uh, drawing the ventral view of head i will show the antenna a pair of antenna and antennal sockets 
the antenna usually lies between the compound eyes the antennal sockets as i have shown in the yellow color these are small uh, ring ring like sclerites and uh, the pair of antenna they articulates in this antennal sockets now i will draw the ventral view of head in the ventral view of head first i will draw a small opening which is known as occipital foramen or foramen magnum uh, through this occipital uh, foramen the head is jointed with the thorax through neck which is also known as cervix Uh, now i will show the uh, post occiput post occiput is a narrow ring like sclerite which forms the margin of occipital foramen you can see i have drawn and the post occiput which is a narrow a ring like sclerite and the suture the line is known as post occipital suture or post occipital sulcus this suture separates the occiput from the post occiput i have shown the post occipital suture uh, post occipital suture is the only uh, real suture which is present in almost all insects after this now i will draw occiput which is the uh, sclerite comprising the major area on the back of the head occipital suture is a horse shoe shaped or u shaped suture it differentiates vertex from the occiput in the posterior region of head and it also separates the gena from post genal area on the lateral region of head and now i have shown occiput and uh, occipital suture occipital suture is a horse shoe shaped suture and occiput is the sclerite which has occupied uh, most of the area on the ventral side of head the lateral side is uh, a small sclerite which is known as post gena now i will show the vertex and gena so students and now you can see the occipital suture is separating vertex from the occiput and on the lateral side it separates gena from post gena and uh, below occiput there is a, a narrow sclerite which is known as post occiput and between occiput and post occiput there is a post occipital suture now on the lower side of the head i will show the mouth parts i have shown the mouth parts like labium maxillary palpi and labial palpi so this is about the ventral view of head now i have a, a short quiz for you so students the first question is the sclerites of insect head are made up of second question is the other name of epicranial suture is and the last question is the only real suture in insect head is so these are the questions please do write the answers in the comment box and don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching the video